Greet the patient and introduce yourself. Confirm the patient's identity by asking for his or her name and checking the armband. Explain the procedure and ask whether the patient has allergies or phobias. Obtain verbal consent from the patient to perform the procedure. Ensure that your equipment is ready. Open the blood culture sterile pack up and away from the trolley without lifting it. Disinfect your hands. Remove the red waste bag. Open it and place it facing towards yourself. Remove the blue sterile field by carefully holding the corners. Do not let it touch the surrounding areas. Place it onto the trolley or next to the patient's arm, not under the arm. The side you touch during the unfolding should face down. Empty the remaining contents from the sterile pack onto the sterile field. Pour the iodine solution into the fluid recess on the sterile pack tray. Open the syringe and needle onto the sterile field. Open the sterile gloves away from and not onto the sterile field. Flip the lid off the blood culture bottle. Apply the tourniquet four to five fingers proximal to the venipuncture site. Palpate a suitable vein to be used to draw blood from. Disinfect your hands with alcohol disinfectant and let them dry. Apply sterile gloves using aseptic principles. Do not repalpate the vein once the gloves are on. Method 1 using a safety needle. Clean the venipuncture site in a circular motion from the center outwards and let the area dry. Discard the cotton wool into the red waste bag. Do not forget to also clean the top of the blood culture bottle with an alcohol swab. Place the sterile sheet with its opening over the venipuncture site. Attach the needle to the syringe and remove the safety needle cap. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm below, not above, the venipuncture site. This is an important safety measure. With the bevel of the needle facing upwards, enter the vein swiftly at a 15 to 30 degree angle. Withdraw 10 milliliters of blood slowly to avoid hemolysis. Release the tourniquet with one hand and withdraw the needle gently, applying pressure on the site with cotton wool. Ensure the needle does not come in contact with the cotton wool. Do not change needles between the blood sample collection and the inoculation of the blood culture bottle. Do not hold onto the blood culture bottle during inoculation, as this increases the risk of a needle stick injury. Inoculate the blood into the blood culture bottle.
Engage the safety needle cover immediately and discard it with the syringe into the shop's container. Gently rotate it. Secure the cotton ball with tape. Method 2. Alternatively, you may use a vacutainer and safety butterfly needle. Mark 10 milliliters of blood needed on the culture bottle. Connect the vacutainer and the butterfly needle. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm below, not above the venipuncture site. Gently insert the butterfly needle. Insert the blood culture bottle into the vacutainer to fill up to your 10 milliliter mark. Remove the culture bottle from the vacutainer. Release the tourniquet. Remove the vacutainer butterfly needle. Activate the safety mechanism immediately and apply the cotton wool ball to the puncture site. Discard the butterfly needle together with the vacutainer barrel into the shop's container. Secure the cotton ball with a tape. Gently rotate it. Blood culture. Post procedure. Discard all used medical waste into the red bin. Discard any general waste into the clear transparent bin. Remove your gloves. Recheck site for bleeding. Disinfect hands with disinfectant. Label the blood culture bottle with the patient's sticker. Do not remove the barcode label from the culture bottle. Deposit the culture bottle and a completed laboratory form into the specimen bag. After documenting the procedure, the specimen is ready to be sent to the lab. Remember to thank the patient and ensure their comfort.